All right, this is for uh, Laura Romero, um, and this is her dragon girl uh, image. Now, the first thing that I would say right now is that you have you have decent colors going on, but the the thing that I look at and really think needs improvement is the silhouettes of the character. Um, you know, the first thing I I would do is, and this is me as a as an artist as I look at the the darker elements so I'm gonna just select your color range here and I'm just gonna grab this and we're just going to grab as much as possible like so and uh, that looks pretty good so I'm just going to cut that that the character out from the background and then actually I'm gonna just grab your brush here and I'm going to just fill fill that in the background. So now I'm working with fully the character separated. So here's the things that I would look at um, as an element. One, um, your visual aspect here is really kind of convoluted. So if I'm going to take this element here and I'm going to do an adjustment, a hue and saturation adjustment, and I'm going to just blacken the entire thing. So it's completely black now. It looks it looks like this. So the problem is your silhouette isn't reading well. You've got, you know, the arm here is missing here. So, you know, that that gets lost. This arm here is missing something and that one's getting lost. Um, let me grab my shape dynamics here. Um, you know the the ponytail is 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 readable, but yet it's still it's still having some issues. So and then the dragon is having some issues being defined too, and so cleaning up a couple of those things will really help out your um, your character design and an idea process. So the first thing that I would say is um, let's grab in. I'm just going to start off with some simple things. So I'm going to grab out her ponytail and I'm going to cut that out. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to grab out her arm and we're going to cut that out. So just by simply taking that arm and transforming it a little bit out here like this and let's um, Let's grab a little bit more, select transform, and I'm just going to kind of make that like that. So I'm going to hide her ponytail, select, deselect. Okay, so I'm going to add back in there a little bit of the color. And so you can see instantly that arm becomes a lot more readable and a lot more interesting. And then if I put that ponytail back underneath. Um, let's grab that ponytail and let's put the ponytail a little bit out. And let's just brush in. I'm just going to brush in really quick. Um, just kind of that, like so. So that becomes a lot more readable. And I don't want to have that tangent in there, so I'm going to actually clean up your arm a little bit, probably erase a little bit more of that out. But you can see now that becomes a lot readable as far as, you know, that character goes. Um, and then we go back to this arm here, and I'm just going to select this arm here, and we're going to cut that out. And then I'm going to go back in and select the entire dragon. And I don't, uh, the, the bag here kind of feels awkward, so I'm going to cut that out separately. Okay, so with that bag, let's, let's move the bag off for a second. Let's take this and let's uh, transform it so that it's a little bit bigger and...
Let's angle a little bit towards the character. So even though there's some aggression going on, and then I'm going to just erase your, your beard uh, information here real quick. I'm going to erase that. And let's go back in and brush. So let's add in this, add in this. All right, so you see now they're two separate elements. And then even adding in a curly beard, your, your character now becomes a separate element. Now, that's not saying that you want to maintain that separate element all the way through because then you're, you're separating the characters. But by making that hand pop, pop out a little bit more, um, it's actually reading a little bit better. Um, it, it, it's, it just feels a little bit more emotive than what you've got going on. Um, what I would do is I would actually curl the tail, select and transform, and I'm going to curl the tail a little bit more like this. And let's, I'm just going to really quickly, oops, erase here. And then I would add in the dark. So the, the, the characters are still interacting, and then you could probably put something that follows out behind the character. And it still reads relatively decent. Um, you know that is that is something that you want to have you know really implemented on there that that sense of how the characters work well together but now with this in place you know before it read like this and now it's got a little bit of separation a little bit of elements like that and those are things that you want to really think about with your overall process um, and this arm would be fixed here um, I would I would probably put the arm and I'm just going to, again, paint over real quick. Let's grab this arm here and put it much like this. And then here's your this. And then you put your bag here, select and transform it so it's a little bit more, more kind of hangy. And then maybe even add in like the arm back here where he's kind of starting to reach towards that, that, um, you know aspect but the other thing too is you want to you know if you're you're the dragon isn't loved or whatever that that you know that emotion that you want to put in there you also want to put that in the body movement as well so you know maybe her arms a little bit more straighter out you know she's more angry um, and the dragon is much more offensive so it's pose also makes a difference but I think from a visual aspect separating your characters a little bit so that the silhouette reads a little bit better is going to be much more interesting for you. Hope that helped. Hey, I wanted to thank everyone for subscribing to my patron, and if you haven't yet, check it out.